So Rhythm came back a couple weeks ago, um, which was a move that I kind of did not expect. We all kind of knew they were working on something, but as a Discord activity, I wasn't thinking of that. So they came back, and I'm not going to lie, the activity is kind of shite. Like, it is terrible. There's like, not really an insight of for me to use it because you gotta kind of pay five dollars a month to be able to select a song you want but then everyone else has to also sell buy the five dollar package to select the song they want and then you listen to the radio stations but the radio stations are just terrible it says rock for example but you always place the same songs so i don't really get that and another thing is the fact there was like so many discord bots out there which play music for free like um for example jokey music that's like a discord bot like some servers have it gives you free music it came back and i wasn't really happy with it and then i had an idea in my head what if i spent the week making recreated rhythm but as a free activity you don't need to pay you can listen to any music you want so yeah that's like the point of this video we are going to be creating rhythm but just a better and a free version of it so you know let's go right first i kind of just needed to think of a plan how will i actually do this and now thinking about it my first attempt at trying to do this is probably the most lazy shit i've done it's just unbelievable like my original plan to make this work is just to use youtube embed it is as simple as that you user is able to you know input the song name finds the song and then it puts an embed on the website which sounds very easy because it really was because all i really had to do is i used a youtube embed library yes i did not even try to make my own embed system I just used the library out of there from the internet and then I basically used the YouTube API because originally the way this worked is the embed will get the link of the YouTube video and then it just you know shows it to the user however obviously you don't want to always have the link as the only valid input you also want to have the name of the video so I used the YouTube data API 3 I think something like that I don't fully remember which basically all it really does we send a request to YouTube um, with the name of the video and then YouTube will just respond with all the listed videos with their URL and all of the information which I would then basically display to the user the user select which song they want and then the song starts playing which sounds like a good idea because originally I thought it was a great idea it worked on the website it like it worked flawlessly mm. But yeah, it works on the website. That's great. So basically what I did next is I converted it to a Discord activity, which to be fair, all I really required is uncommented three lines of code. And boom, I made it into a Discord activity. But here is where the problem started to occur. The way that Discord activities work is the fact that Discord tries to basically find the website or the web server that the activity is running from, which in this scenario is localhost, but I used a tunnel to obviously put it on online, and then it proxies your traffic over, so basically none of your IPs are basically visible to other users, which is, you know, a big privacy thing, which is good. However, this does mean that Discord kind of blocks any external traffic from communicating with your Discord activity which is bad because I need a YouTube API. So this basically meant that the YouTube embed became useless because when I tried to use it as a Discord activity, it's a black screen and that's all. Huh? But you might say, doesn't Discord have URL mapping? Yes, it does. And I tried it out. I made it work for the YouTube data API, but I couldn't make it work for the YouTube Ember thing itself because YouTube Ember, it uses, the library I'm using uses a lot of APIs and I just can't put them all into the URL mapping because now I have to edit the library itself, which I tried, I tried. It didn't work though. So I basically scrapped this plan because it kind of just went downhill. Right at this point, I realized I actually have to try this video. I can't just take the easiest way out possible. So in my head, I was thinking, what could I do? What will make it work? And then I had a eureka moment in my head. What if I use YouTube DLP? Which, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a command line program that allows you to download video files from various websites. But in this circumstance, we're always going to be using YouTube since we try to download music from YouTube. And then at that point, I realized, holy shit, I could actually make this work. However, it took me like two attempts to actually make this work because my first attempt, I tried to actually find a library that could be imported into Vue.js because I didn't really want to use the backend to basically download the video file. It's already on the client and then basically we play the file. However, I quickly found out there isn't really any libraries online that works that allows you to use YouTube DLP as a JavaScript library because I constantly got this shitty error, which by the way, irritated me, but whatever. It 
it didn't work and I scrapped the idea and then I went into idea number three what if I just use a backend server which is what I tried to you know not used from the beginning. In this circumstance, we're going to be using Node.js. I know I usually go for Laravel servers, but Laravel is way too overkill for this project. So I used Node.js because it's JavaScript, easy to use, blah, blah, blah. So I quickly created a Node.js server, which by the way, is my first time creating one because I don't really ever use it before. Created it and then I made a simple script that basically what it really does it executes a command on my machine using system tasks basically download the audio file locally on the server then we try to find that audio file when it does find it it turns it into a blob so we can actually you know send it through HTTPS and then after that it sends it through HTTPS the client receives it place the audio and then we just delete the audio file locally so we don't really waste any space and then boom it should work and did it work fuck yes it did work I was actually finally able to listen to music, but here's the thing, does it actually work on Discord? So once again, I convert into a Discord activity and drum roll guys, it actually finally works. I was actually finally able to listen to music on Discord. This was practically done. Don't get me wrong, originally this was hella slow because I think it took like five to 10 seconds to actually download the song, send it over and then play it, which now I think about it is a lot. But after some optimizations, because originally it kind of just downloaded, it kind of just downloaded the WebEM format of the video, but then I converted it to an MP3, which reduced the file size, thankfully. But even then it took still like about five seconds to actually download. But before we continue, I had to reintegrate the search feature, which we created early on in the video. As you remember, I used to this, not the Discord API, the YouTube API to basically search for videos, which is currently removed. And basically adding it back in is very simple. All I really had to do is just, you know, copy and paste the code that I already had, change up the function name a bit, and boom, basically, instead of getting the value from the search bar all we really get is the value when we click on the video and now basically what happens every time the user searches up a name or something it will search up the list of videos user clicks on it downloads the video sends out the video to the user so that was basically done and now we have a basic very slow don't get me wrong very slow music player but it's free as a discord activity which by the way is like the whole goal of this video but now we get to the part which I really, really despised, which is basically making it all look nice. Because currently, if you didn't notice, which most likely you did, I am just using the base HTML elements. Like the audio player is just a base audio tag. The search bar is just a base search bar. And it looks very ugly. And in my opinion, I got to make it all look nice and fancy. So that's all I'm going to be doing now. So before I actually start making it all look pretty, I first needed to install two libraries. First one being Tailwind, which if you didn't know, Tailwind is just a CSS framework which gives you more customizability of how you want it to look compared to something like um, Bootstrap, which is very nice, but it's very limiting. It's fast, but it's limiting. And Tailwind is kind of, it's still fast, but it gives you more control over how you want it to look. And then the second library being flow by all it really gives you is various components that you can quickly import into your projects rather than creating them from scratch which in this circumstance is what i kind of wanted to do because if i create everything from scratch it would take longer and i really wasn't bothered so after i installed these two things i started doing the first thing which is to customize the cards because currently the search results are very ugly it's just different divs being displayed in a for loop that's all it really is so i basically create a new view component and create a card i totally did not steal it from the flow by website but whatever i integrated into there changed up the functions um added some props which is basically just a way to pass in data into a component and there we go this is like my first version of how i wanted to look like which looked all right it wasn't really the best, so then later on in the stream, because I was streaming this, um, I changed it up, I removed the thumbnail and I reduced the text size because I kind of thought the thumbnail was kind of unnecessary and now I kind of think it looks way, way better. And after I completed the search results, I needed to actually work on the MP3 player because you are going to admit, the base mp3 player sucks um so i basically removed it from the website i did not use the audio tag i instead used the javascript audio player which basically it gives you more, more control over how i want it to work because i can pause it unpause it 
read the timestamps, read the length, all from code rather than just a HTML tag. So I created an audio player from there and now we can actually customize the custom audio player. So I basically quickly stole a progress bar from Floorbyte um, because I kind of just didn't want to create my own. And then I, I got some icons from Floorbyte as well for the pause, unpause, next, and then obviously the song before button. And then I obviously put the thumbnail above it. So it's kind of similar to something like YouTube music or just Spotify on mobile. And then the song title at the top. And then I also made logic at the bottom, which gives you the time in seconds and then how long the video is. So after doing all that, it kind of looked pretty nice. I went through various changes throughout the development because I kind of just didn't like it. Originally, I went for the two columns, the search results on the left, the audio player on the right. I didn't like that, so I converted it into top bottom. Also didn't like that, then I thought, hmm, maybe I make it into a flex type thing. And then that's what I did now, and I prefer it better than, I, than how I liked it before. Don't get me wrong, it still looks ugly. It's basically nothing compared to, you know, the Rhythm UI design, because Rhythm, as much as I hate Rhythm, it does have a clean design. Even though it kind of sucks and it's slow, but whatever. Um, it is way better than what I have designed. But also, keep in mind, I only had a week to make this. And Rhythm has been in development for years, so I'm going to give props to myself. But after all that, um, I've done it. I basically created Rhythm. I went to the voice chat with a friend. He joined the activity. It worked. So, one issue that I had is <laughs> you don't really share the audio between each other. Because I did not implement logic that is able to detect the states between the two clients which if this video does well enough maybe i might make a sequel and add more features to this and actually make it way better for example actually have a queue feature etc etc actually have multiple people listen to the same song you know you never know am i able to add that but um yeah this is how i basically created a better version of rhythm even though it, the title is a bit clickbait it's not really better it's just free compared to what rhythm offers you right now and to be fair if you do not want to go through this hassle just make yourself a discord bot i have a video on that just do it don't go through what i did because that is fucking pain but other than that guys i hope you enjoyed the video um the code will be in the description below i'm gonna submit to github um uh, please like the video join our discord community and yeah if you want me to do more stupid shit and actually work on this even more just let me know in the comments but other than that hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you later